GCSEs are really complicated and teachers start throwing all these different codes at you when you start your course. So here I'm just quickly going to talk you through what all the different codes mean and what GCSEs you're going to end up with. So these are the codes here, we're talking like C1, P2 and B3. And simply put, C is for chemistry, P is for physics and B is for biology. The 1, 2 and 3 stands for um, the, 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 the units that are going to be going on and depending on what GCSEs you're actually doing that is going to determine which units you're actually going to be taking. So if you're doing core GCSE you're going to be sitting these units here and a controlled assessment or an ISA and this is going to be your core GCSE. Now some of you might also be doing an additional GCSE that is these units here, so C2, P2, B2 and a controlled assessment, that is your additional science ISA, that's your additional science GCSE. Some of you may be doing even more units, the C3, P3, B3 and another control assessment, that is your further additional. So those, that's one way you can um, use all the different units. Um, the other way that you can do it is by doing all of the chemistry in one lot, all of the physics in one lot, and all of the biology in one lot. And then this will give you a chemistry GCSE. This will be your physics GCSE. And then this one here will be your biology GCSE. So all the information that you need to know is exactly the same. Um, so C1, as the information for the core, is going to be exactly the same information you need for the chemistry GCSE. It's just packaged up together ever so slightly differently. Each of these units, um, so each exam and each control assessment, are worth 25%. So each exam is exactly the same weighting as your ISA. Your ISA is a big, big part then. Don't neglect it just because you do it in class. I have a whole separate set of um, videos all about how to do really, really well on your controlled assessment. All that's divided up by topic. Now, one of the advantages of having um, these units which can be packaged up in different ways is that if you start a course at the beginning of year 10 or even at the beginning of year 9 because some people do that say if you started on the triple science course but you feel that that's too challenging for you or you want to spend more time doing your art or drama or something else then you can drop down to do the double course really really easily because you've already learned the stuff you don't need to change what you learn you just need to learn less stuff on the flip side of that if you signed up to do the additional science the double science course but you want to try and do the triple science course you only need to learn a few topics more to go on and do that some schools will let you change between additional and double quite easily and some schools don't it's really up to your individual school and whether you want to do that if there is something you're interested in i suggest that you talk to your teachers about whether that's possible so to make things easier for you to find what i spent my summer holiday doing is making a fancy little website here all of the um, videos are organized by exam board a drop down menu at the top so all you need to do is to find your exam board. This is for either um, AQA or for an Excel because or the Welsh um, examining committee. All of the um, exam codes are exactly the same, so C1, P2, B, um, 3, but the actual content of each individual topic is going to be different. So it's really important that you find the right um, page and the right playlist for your exam board and learn that stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get all my new videos. Check out my website so you can see um, lists of videos, the blog and exam advice. Any questions, comments, requests or corrections below please.